Hey guys, RC Nixter here with you. Welcome back to the shop. Today, we've got the Rancho out here with us. Uh, nothing too major with the Rancho other than some work I did on the plow. Uh, plow is remaining exactly the same. When I originally made it, I kept in the back of my mind that not only would I like this to go up and down, um, but I'd like to have a power angle on it as well. And that's what I tackled today. As you know, the plow has really been working well for me and I've been ecstatic about how it's performed out on the driveway and just in general. Um, when I did make this, uh, originally, it will actually tilt. Um, so that would mean removing a screw tilting it, putting the screw back in, and tightening it again. The reason I did that, again, was I knew that at some point I was going to try this little project. Uh, so what I did, and again, very unconventional here, uh, basically, with this bit of room that I've got right here, uh, I've created a platform, put a steering servo on there, well, a servo, and attached an arm to the pivoting section of the plow. So, here on the bench seems to work great. Why don't we get it ready, bring it outside, and do a little bit of test run on it. Now, we're going to do a test run. Yesterday, we finished cleaning up after 75 centimeters of snow. This was pretty much useless. So that's why we didn't get much video of it out there plowing, because I needed one much bigger than this to come and help me out. All right, let's get it all ready, get the 3S LiPo in here, get it out and see how this thing will work and clean it up a little bit of snow, see how the power angle reacts. And I think it's going to be a good run. Guys, stay tuned. Well, guys, on second thoughts, I'm just realizing, you can see what I've got done here. I've got a small... Um, standoff here with a ball end uh, screw going into a link and connecting up to the servo here now what I've just noticed if I just move my blade a little bit I don't know if you can see but that servo is actually moving on top of that little platform that I've got made so that tells me that the screws holding it to the plate now I should be able to swing these to the side just like that and I'll be able to take this up without hopefully attach detaching anything get down in behind give that one a tighten up and all I've got done there is uh, holes drilled into that aluminum plate for, uh, there we go, for a couple of screws. Very similar to the way you'd attach it to the front axle. Um, it's the same style steering plate. It's just that I've uh, repurposed it and used it as, uh, as for this. So, let's go now. That's better. We expect a little bit of movement, of course, because none of them are super duper tight. And that looks good. All right, so. Let's go give this a try. Mm -hmm. 